Hi everyone. Today we'll find or evaluate inverse Laplace transform of f bar of p, which is equals to two p square minus four divided by p plus one into p minus two into p minus three. So whenever you see any uh, function like this in terms of p, you can uh, do or solve it in two ways. That is, uh, one is by heuristic method and another is by complex inversion formula. So today we'll see heuristic method. We'll just take this term and we'll factorize into partial fractions. So uh, a by p plus one plus b by p minus two plus c by p minus three, which is equals to two p square by four, two p square minus four divided by p plus one into p minus two into p minus three. So now. A into these two values, B into these two values, C into these two values. So A into these two values that is p minus two into p minus three, which is equals to p square minus five p plus six plus B into these two values, p plus one into p minus three, that is p square minus two p minus three plus C into p plus one into p minus two, that is p square minus uh, p minus two, which is equals to the numerator part. So, checking on the coefficients. On checking on the coefficients and equating the coefficients, we get a plus b plus c is equals to two. That is a plus b plus c is equals to two. And for coefficients of p minus five a minus two b minus c is equals to zero. Coefficient of constant terms or constant terms. Uh, that is six uh, a minus three b minus two p is equals to minus four. So these three equations we get. We have to solve uh, these three equations and get the value of a b c. So now solving this and this, we'll get a plus b uh, plus c is equals to two minus five a minus two uh, b minus c is equals to zero. First, we are taking this because this is very simple to solve because c we can eliminate directly. Minus four a is equals to minus four a minus b is equals to two. So now, then so solving this and this. So multiplying this whole throughout with two, we'll get two a plus two b plus two c is equals to four. Six a minus three b minus two c is equals to minus four. So we'll be remain with eight a minus b is equals to zero. So now this a t minus b is equals to zero. If we substitute over here, b uh, since it is minus b minus b will be able to cancel it by just changing the signs. Minus four a minus b is equals to two minus a t plus b is equals to zero. So minus twelve a which is equals to two a is equals to minus one by six. So now we got a value. We can substitute a value in this. Will be able to get the value of b. B is equals to eight into a. That is eight into one by six. Since a is equals to minus one by six, so eight into minus one by six is minus eight by six, which is equals to minus four by three. So on substituting this value, a b in uh, the first equation, that is a plus b plus c is equals to two, will get the value of c. C is equals to seven by two. So now, on substituting the value of a, b, c, we get. Now, as this can be written in the form of this, right? So just replacing this with this, and uh, just uh, substituting the values of a and b and c, we get minus one by six into one divided by p plus one, plus minus four by three into one by p minus two, plus seven by two into one by p minus three. So Laplace in uh, inverse of f bar of p, which is equals to one by six into which is minus one by six into uh, Laplace inverse of one by p plus one, that is e power minus two uh, minus t plus minus four by three into One by p minus two. Laplace inverse of one by p minus two is e power two t. 
so plus 7 by 2 into 1 by p minus 3 that is Laplace inverse of Laplace inverse of uh, 1 by p minus 3 which is equals to e power 3t plus 7 by 2 so our f of t that is our function is equals to minus 1 by 6 into e power minus t minus 4 by 3 into e power 2t plus 7 by 2 into e power 3t so in this way we can find the inverse of a function containing p terms by heuristic formula thank you so much for watching if any doubts please do comment